This is Sasha Segan from PCMag.com, here with Sunit Singh Thule, the CEO of DataWind. They're the company behind the $37 Ubi Slate tablet, uh, which has been sold in India and is now available in the U.S. Uh, Sunit, I'm starting to see $40 Android tablets come out of various Chinese manufacturers. How is the Ubi Slate different? Well, price is still a big factor. You, you can't take the Chinese price and, and equate that to U.S. consumer pricing uh, with 12 month warranty. Um, you know, that, that still, that $40 tablet wholesale out of China still ends up at $60 in the U.S. And this is why when you walk around the CES show, you, you see a variety of boots offering tablets as low as $59. We are currently at $37.99. We, we expect to be half that within the next uh, year and a half to two years and we think affordability is key. The other big difference you'll find with us versus a lot of uh, these uh, low-cost tablets is that we now have scale. Uh, we're, we're delivering over a million units a year in India, uh, in, we're in a variety of countries in Latin America and in Africa, and we've now started delivering in the U.S. Uh, so, so having that scale gives the consumer a different level of comfort with regards to the product. With us, that's the entry-level device. Uh, we, we have uh, the $59, $79, $99 versions. Once you get above the entry-level device, all of our devices have mobile connectivity built in. So there's cellular modems, and in the U.S. we're offering free uh, internet access, 12 months of internet access bundled with these devices using a web delivery platform that we've created. Now, in countries like, in countries like India and other countries that you consider the developing world, um, what's a bigger barrier to getting online, network access or device prices? Affordability. It is device prices. Remember, when you look at India, you've got 800 million people using 900 million mobile phones, uh, whereas there's only 13 million broadband connections. There's less than 50 million people that have internet access at home, 100 million if you include internet cafes and things of that nature. So the networks exist. There's enough network in India for 800 million people to get on mobile phones, uh, but not on the internet. And the reason is that the cost of either the smartphones or computers uh, is generally three to four months worth of salary for that entry level customer. And we're trying to bring the cost of tablets down to a week of salary uh, and we think that affordability will drive it. We, we've seen in India where uh, tablet penetration uh, and, the, and the size of the tablet market has grown 10x in one year uh, because of uh, this drop in price. Now, how about electricity? How can you have a connected world where most of the world doesn't have a reliable grid? So this is the thing. When you think of this market globally, uh, and, and now you know, I take it beyond India, there are 2 billion people that use the internet. There are 5 billion that have mobile phones, uh, using 6 billion mobile phones. That 3 billion person gap is our target market. That 3 billion person, those 3 billion people, not only have access to networks, but they have access to electricity. They've figured out how to charge their phones. You know, the, the final last billion or two that are left, or in India after the 800 million mobile phone users, the last 400 million, they still need to be addressed and electricity and other issues need to be resolved. But that, you know, that large chunk of it, those 3 billion have access to electricity. That's not the barrier. Affordability is. Now, you have, uh, you have around a million tablets in use in India right now. What are the most popular applications they're being used for? So we're positioned around education, uh, empowerment, and, and improving the quality of education is, is a big portion of uh, what we focus on, and, and that has been the big driver within that market. Uh, basic internet access and email uh, is a big application, uh, and uh, surprisingly high number of people still use these devices also as phones uh, because of the mobile connectivity built in. But education and basic internet access is, is what's been driving most usage in our devices. Now, how can low-cost tablets uh, succeed in markets like the U.S., where expectations are set by marketing campaigns from, say, Apple, Amazon, Samsung, these really higher-end manufacturers? I, I, I think the differentiator in performance will, will, will evaporate over time. Um, you know, today, the, the entry-level device that we offer in the U.S., uh, or what we deliver to the Indian government as Akash 2, has the same caliber of processor and double the RAM as the original iPad. Uh, the next version of Akash that should be out uh, hopefully sometime this quarter uh, will have a dual core processor and a gigabyte of RAM. So as far as horsepower goes, it's the same caliber of horsepower as the current iPad. Maybe the screen resolution is not the same and maybe the camera resolution is not the same, but the, the differentiator is continuing to, to evaporate 
and, and, and it, it, you know, you'll get devices that most consumers will perceive as good enough and won't be able to justify the 10x price differential over time. Okay, well, thank you very much. This is Sasha Segan from PCMag.com with Sunit Singh Tuli from DataWind. Thank you for having me, Sasha. Good talking to you again.